Hi, so in this particular video we're going to look at the mean, the median and the mode of a series of numbers. So we're looking at the mean, uh, which means the average, okay, uh, the mode, okay, which means the most, okay, and the median, which means the middle okay of a series of numbers now this particular uh, word question is going to be um, uh, they generally tend to be quite wordy they're pitched at roundabout level C at GCSE I will write it in the description box underneath and uh, hopefully be able to follow along as we go through it on this particular video um, it should be fairly straightforward there are a couple of little tricky bits with it but generally speaking they'll give you a series of numbers now in this particular case it's the amount of texts received by an adult, or by 10 adults rather, on any one particular day. So in other words, one adult received 25 texts and then somebody else received two texts. And this is all the different adult texts. No, not adult texts, I mean texts, two adults um, that have been received on any one particular day. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty, so let me write all those out. So there's 10 of them, I think. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, and what we're being asked to do is firstly write the mode for this series of numbers. Okay, well, the way they write these things, they tend to be quite random in the way they write the numbers. So you've just got to be a little bit careful. They are only ever one mark questions. So, um, just be very careful when you're doing this. Okay, so we've got four there and four there. So the mode, which is the most frequent, is going to be four. And sometimes it can be kind of tucked away a little bit. So do really be careful with those things. Okay, the next one is the median. Okay, and this is where you've got to work out the middle number. Now the easiest way of doing this is to rewrite all of those numbers in ascending order. So just be really careful and make sure as you do it that you do actually check the numbers as you write them out, that you've got the correct uh, number of numbers. So we're going to be writing them out in ascending order, but we're going to make sure that actually once we've finished writing them out, there is going to be 10 of them. Okay, you can see as I'm writing them up on the board, I'm actually referring through to my notes um, because it's very, very easy on these type of questions to go wrong. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so to work out the medium, what a lot of teachers do is that they say, well, if you cross out the extremities, eventually you're going to get through to the median. Uh, value. Now at the moment, because there's 10, which is an even number, then our median is going to be the number that's in the middle of those two. So I'm sure you can see that the middle number is going to be five and a half, because that's halfway between five and six. So the median is going to be 5.5. Okay. Um, if you want to actually work that out, let's say you don't have whole numbers and it's not obvious to you, then all you would do is you would write 5 plus 6 divided by 2, because what we're doing then is working out the average of those two numbers. If there's two numbers, you work out the average, you sum them together and divide by 2, and that would give you 5.5. So if the numbers are a little bit trickier, then just use that method to do that. Okay, the final one is the mean. All right, now the thing about the mean is that, again, you've got to be a little bit careful because you've got to make sure you add up all of these numbers together and then divide by the number of numbers. The way I generally tend to remember it is the mean is the sum divided by the number. Okay, um, now that's just something that I kind of helps me to remember things. Um, there are ways in which you do see sometimes this sort of thing, which means summation. 
um, and you can use that if you want to but I think sum divided by number just works fine for me so if I add up all of those um, and do please again be really really careful when you do that you should end up um, with a sum total and it's not actually on my notes but if you divide by uh, yes it is it's 96 if you add up all of those together you should get 96 and the number of them is actually 10 values. So 96 divided by 10. Well, to do that, all I'm going to do is move the decimal point one place to divide by 10. So my mean value is 9.6. OK, and that would be the answer to that particular question. So the three ones, uh, the three averages that you need to be aware of that you're going to come across in GCSE are going to be mode, median and mean. And I'm going to use a couple of videos in this playlist to talk about these different types of values. One of the um, add-on questions that you also get with this is which value is the most representative or the most suited to, in this particular case, the, the adult, no, the text received to adults. Um, <laughs> um, that's going to amuse me for a while. Um, <laughs> OK, well, probably the thing about it is the mode isn't really representative because you've got some extreme values here. Um, the median also would perhaps be OK, but again, it can be affected quite a lot by the, by the extreme values. Probably the best representation of this type of um, question will be that um, the average number of texts received by adults is going to be 9.6 or close to 10 texts in this particular case a day received by adults. Um, I hope that's okay for you. Um, please do have a look at the description box underneath for the full question and also please do add a comment and I will always come back to you. Um, I look forward to seeing you next video and please also subscribe to the channel.